Inflation Nation folks, Duke Energy of Florida is considering hiking electricity rates by 4%. And we're seeing this throughout the country. And we already have 20 million households. That's not 20 million people. That's 20 million households behind on their electricity bill. So that's probably like 40 million people. And these guys, they're hiking rates even more. So that electricity bill, that's going to get harder. That's going to become more difficult to pay. Now, the White House is hoping to pass an Internet subsidy bill for America. And that's going to be a big problem because more than 10,000 people every day, seven days a week, 30 days a month are cutting the cord. And the very likely reason is they can't afford it. So between Comcast, Spectrum, Charter, they're losing subscribers by the thousands every day. And it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Now, with oil continuing to go up every day, I don't see how the Fed is going to be able to cut rates in June because that would just be throwing gasoline on the fire. Because the minute they cut rates, you're going to see commodities really take off. And we'll be talking about $100, $120 barrel oil if these guys cut rates. Now, Jerome Powell, he's going to speak tomorrow, but I got a good feeling he's going to start tepidly walking back some of that June rate cut rhetoric. All right, folks, now this economy is going to be in big trouble. Looks like oil is going over $90 a barrel. And this is only early April. We're going to see oil at $100 a barrel plus come June, come this summer. And that's going to mean back to those record high prices at the pump. And I'm telling you, most Americans cannot afford to go back to that inflation. That's going to put a lot of people under. That's going to put a lot of people out on the streets. And it's going to be no coming back with this economy. You're going to have so many people who are just too far gone, too far lost, with their credit, with their credit scores destroyed, their work history destroyed, and depression setting in that they're not even going to be employable. And they're going to be lost for a good amount of time. And America is going to be in big trouble. As I said before, this ship has already hit the iceberg. And it's a gigantic hole in the hull. And we're taking on water big time. Now, Brooklyn, New York's largest skyscraper is in foreclosure. Now, the developer, JDS Development, owes $240 million. And I tell you what, as these commodity prices go higher, and it looks more and more likely that the Fed is not going to cut rates, you're going to see the dam begin to burst with these foreclosures and bankruptcies. Because if you're a company and you're filing bankruptcy, you don't want to be the last one at the trough. You want to get in those courts early. You want to be able to attract investors that can pump liquidity into your business and help it survive while it restructures. But if everyone does it at once and you're late to the party, there are going to be no investors left. So as it looks more and more likely that the Fed is not going to be able to cut rates, you're going to see a rush to have these bankruptcies filed and these foreclosures taken care of before the dam burst. Now, once the Fed doesn't cut rates in June, that's pretty much going to open up the floodgates. And it's going to be one thing or the other. Oil crosses over $90 a barrel, and that number right there pretty much tells you that the Fed will not be able to cut rates. So either that or we wait until June and see what the Fed does. Those two metrics are going to determine when the floodgates open. And there are going to be a lot of big names that are around today that come next year, they will have disappeared off the map. And a lot of these retail names, they are up to their neck in debt with very little cash. And once it looks like that they can't refinance this debt, there's going to be a rush to market to file for bankruptcy. And that's what we're getting ready to see. We're getting ready to come over the hill and face this debacle. And I'm telling you, folks, it's going to be biblical. Now, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.